Well, those numbers looking a little bit better these days. The price of gas went down five cents a liter this morning. And guess who was taking credit for the relief of the gas pumps? It was the PC government at Queen's Park today. It dropped in Ontario in a way. Gasoline price. Though. We control the tax on that. So what you'll see is that uniquely the wholesale price of gasoline was reduced. So the summer to winter conversion happened across all wholesale gas. But this is something that happened uniquely in Ontario. That's because this government got rid of cap and trade. Now that is something that we said would happen. But what happened uh, yesterday that made it go down specifically? Well, what happened? This is a this is a market. So in that market, the the wholesale price affects the retail price. That takes its time to pass its way through. As I said in the legislature, we'll also see a reduction in natural gas prices. That will happen in October. That left Andrea Horvath laughing. The opposition leader says gas prices usually fall at this time of year. It's a bit funny to hear a government try to take a, a credit for something that happens annually and has been happening annually for decades, which is the change in gas prices from summer to winter. And if Mr. Ford wants to take credit for that, a good luck to him. So what's the independent assessment of this? Our gas price expert, Roger McKnight, says the drop at the pumps had nothing to do with the Ford government. If it was a cap-and-trade drop, the amount of drop by the oil companies would have been exactly the same. However, if we go through the list, Valero, which is Ultramar, actually went up. Shell went down 3.2. Esso went down 4. And Suncor went down 4.6. As I understand it, the Ontario government has no control over the cap-and-trade in, in Quebec. Yet in Quebec, the prices went down a similar amount. And you say if the drop was due to the cap and trade coming out, that the price of diesel would have also declined. Diesel didn't go, didn't hardly move at all. So you explain that to me. How come it's just gasoline? Either way, filling up is costing us the least it has in months. And the price is probably going to hold pretty steady tonight. On the Gas Price Watch, Richard Southern City News.